Hi, I'm Brian from Noda. I'd like to show you the state of our Miro integration and some things we've been working on. So Noda has an in-app browser that can be used to load Miro into the VR space. Miro looks good, it works well. You can navigate around a map with your thumbstick, scroll, um, you can zoom as normal. We've got a resizable browser window, so for large maps, you can get a nice big canvas to work through uh, complicated maps and topics. Also by default, Nota has a feature that lets you copy and paste text and images from the browser into the 3D space. This works on the Miro site the same way it works on any other site. You can copy an image by creating a crop box and pulling that image in. Um, you can also select text and copy that text in as well. So if we just take this item here, select text and grab that with our middle finger, we've got a new node with that text in it. So that's a kind of off the shelf integration to get content from the 2D space into the 3D space. But it is limited to that one direction and it's also limited to things that you can manually create. What we'd like to do is a better integration with Miro. So we're using the Miro Web SDK and our own integration API to do something that lets you bring Miro content into the VR space and vice versa. It takes content from VR and back into Miro. So let me show you how that works. There is a plugin for Noda available uh, that you can add to your space, add to your boards. And if you, content, if you select content with uh, a selection box here, I've got these sticky notes selected, and I press Miro to Noda. We can see that we've got the same content here in the 3D space, uh, roughly the same shape, the 3D version, and same color. The text bring, comes across as well. So that's an easy way to get a lot of content in at once. And similarly, if we create content in a 3D space, using speech to text, for instance, this is a new note having to do with my schedule. So we just created some new nodes here. If we select those in the 3D space, we can go into the, Nota, uh, the Miro map and we can go Nota to Miro, and then we've got new sticky notes in the Miro space. So, uh, ideally, what you would do is use Noda for what Noda's good at, which is 3D collaboration, ideation, the feeling of natural input with your hands and your voice and your eyes in a serene environment where you can really think and concentrate. You can bring content in from Miro, or you can generate content here and take it back to Miro, which is connected to the entire 2D realm and world that we all know. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, look forward to hearing more.